My audience, what you, what you Hi do? Guys, I'm a costume designer based in Queens and uh, I make costumes for dancers of all shapes and sizes. So I work with belly dance and salsa. Um, but I saw Nicholas here and I was sitting here just hanging out by the pier and I'm like, hey, can you take a picture? Because I'm doing this challenge this month called Me Made May. Um, and so I made my halter dress. But um, if you are interested in having anything close to me, you can hit me up on the website. Thank you so much. <laughs> True professional right there, you see that right there. Yo, this thing is freaking massive. I didn't think I was gonna stop here, but holy cow. I see this on the internet and everything, but Jesus Christ, dude. So you do have to book the uh, tickets in advance to, to actually go into the place, but wow, I would love to see the views from up there. Like, seriously, I guys wanted to show you this little boat over here that's called a frying pan. I thought that was kind of funny that they named the boat like that. What's going on, guys? We're right here looking at the tower, uh, the One World Observatory. Now, check this out. So, I was working a job at um, not too long ago. Uh, it was like a temp job and one of the things that was surprising me that supposedly got um, kicked off the job is that I was being rude and uh, unprofessional which I thought was like completely freaking stupid so I'm like okay I'm not sure why I seem to be rude and unprofessional seeing the fact that I was merely questioning a situation regarding safety so didn't make any sense to me at all. There's the, uh, the Jersey River. It's one thing I didn't understand is that somebody always wanted to make some assumptions about me and it's like, you're fucking stupid for that. Excuse my language. Let's take a look on the other side here. I'll be some glossiness from the sun, but you can see we got the Jersey across the Hudson River there. And you got New York on the other side here. The walkway and everything. Yeah, so that's probably one thing I'm trying to figure out is why people still want to make assumptions about me. Like I'm actually going to do or be like mad or tight or whatever it is. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. So it's fucking ridiculous how people act, especially white people. What I'm not understanding is that even though you meet somebody on the first day, you don't even you you. You know, most people that meet on the first day, they keep continuing to jump the gun and say, this person might not be what I think this person is. And it's like, you don't even know their story. That's something that's probably I never under will understand. We'll go on this side. Okay, here's the, the thing with me though, that I still don't seem to understand. Now, why is it the fact that, or every time that I turn around, there's always somebody saying, oh, well, he looks like this, he looks like that, he looks like the third. And my whole deal is, is that people are still just sitting there making assumptions about me when they really shouldn't be doing that. So, I'm, I know it's really none of my business to really try to figure out what goes on inside people's heads, but saying that they look a certain way or they act a certain way, or whatever it is, you know, that, that duck mechanism. It's like you automatically assume that they're that person or you know, you create this image inside your head that they're this particular person. Like say for example, if I just wore a t-shirt, uh, a sweater, which is both gray, or I'm, like in some gray sweatpants, you know, people seem to think about construction worker. And I'm just like, okay, first of all, just because I wear a certain style of clothing makes me look like a construction worker. Hello, newsflash, do you guys know what construction workers look like? They wear orange shirts and Tim's, mostly. Usually it's the steel toe boots. My shoes are f as flat as pancakes. So why are you guys making that consumption? Is this like me saying, is it, oh, well, well, she's Asian, so she must be good with calculus. Or so I'm gonna see if she can help me with my trigonometry homework. And so I walk up to her and it's like, oh, she doesn't know anything about calculus. Well, you're Asian, so you must be smart, right? This is, it's like the same set of stereotypical bias that you know, people do and it's like you know that's first of all that's ridiculous you shouldn't be doing that so that that's my deal with that everybody has their own way of thinking of things but it's like i personally try to have zero opinion about people mainly because it makes me look biased or stereotypical yeah no matter how long i would look at somebody i may 
Khan drew up a, a, a self conversation, but at the same time, I still have to understand and uh, try to accommodate my way of thinking according to what their story could be about. So I usually try to remain neutral when it comes to other people's appearance or other people's way of thinking or things like that. When somebody tells me that I'm not fit for a job, even after I've done maybe 20 tasks for them, it's ridiculous. You shouldn't, you really even shouldn't be even saying anything in the first place. That, that's my, uh, that's my particular beat. The manager at this particular showroom is in Manhattan. I can't think of the name right now, but it might come to me later. I had basically said that. And before that, you know, I was called one of the, being part of a, a dream team or whatever it is. I don't know, people be making stuff up all the time. But what I'm saying is, is that I'm the kind of person that sounds like an asshole or an asshat to those that don't seem to have a grip on how reality is. So when I picked up the New York accent, it sounded, oh yeah, I got you. You know, being direct with somebody, saying things like dead ass and things like that. I don't seem to know why they couldn't handle things like that, but that's how New Yorkers talk. If you can't handle a New York accent, then maybe you shouldn't be in New York in the first place or New York City in the first place. I need a beer, I need a bag of Cheetos, and I need a nap. Blog over.